Hi, my name is Ariel Warren. I'm a registered dietitian, nutritionist, certified diabetes care and education specialist, and I've had type 1 diabetes for 30 years. Today, I'm going to show you how to insert the Medtronic War Sensor with the 780G system. I'm personally certified in all the pumps, Omnipod, Beta Bionic, Tandem, and Medtronic, and I personally like to use all the pumps for the people that I work with so I can help you have better success with your diabetes and with your pump system. So let's get started. The first thing that's really important is when you take off your sensor, you want to make sure that you charge your transmitter for about 20 to 30 minutes. When the transmitter is fully charged, when you pull off the transmitter, you will notice that the transmitter flashes 10 times quickly, which indicates that the transmitter has been fully charged. So what I typically do whenever I change my system out, so I have the seven day extended infusion set and reservoir with the Medtronic system. So I have a diabetes day. I will start by taking the sensor off so that I can charge the transmitter and then I will change the rest of my infusion set, my reservoir, and then I'll come back to the sensor at the end. So I have already fully charged this, so now we can get into putting the sensor on. So best locations for these sensors are going to be the back of the arm. That's where it's indicated. During the clinical studies, it showed the best accuracy because there's more stability in the arm. There isn't as much movement. And past sensors, it's been in the stomach, but you actually move your stomach quite a bit. So it's best to use the back of the arm. If that really isn't a great area for you, you can also use your backside above your bum. That could be a good place where it's more stable because you want to just keep the sensor still and that's going to allow it to be more accurate. That's going to keep the sensor for working the full amount of days that it's indicated for. So it should last at least six to seven days. If it doesn't last at least four, you can either go to diabetes.shop or you can contact Medtronic and ask them for a replacement. They will ask you a series of questions and then they will send you a replacement. They're very nice. So make sure your sensor is on a flat surface. We're going to stick the stick within the hole here. You're just going to press down firmly. Make sure not to grab the green side buttons because that is for inserting your sensor. So I'm pushing all the way down. Okay, and you'll hear a big click and it's flat with the surface. And then going to put my fingers over the little pedestals as it's remaining flat. You don't want to grab on the green sides. Make sure you're grabbing on the thumb and you're going to pull straight up. Your sensor will be on here. I like to take this piece off before I insert it, and that way it's a little bit easier to get off because it's a little trickier once it's actually on your body. And this is the place where, this is the time where I usually like to add the skin tack to allow the adhesive to be a little bit stickier. You can't, skin tack is very sticky, so you may need to just rip in the middle, and if you hold the actual packaging on the outside, then it keeps you from actually having to touch the skin tack. So I'm being careful not to hit the sensor, but I'm wiping down the adhesive part just to allow this to be more sticky. And I'm going to let that dry for about 10 to 15 seconds before I insert it. So I am going to take an alcohol swab, make sure that I clean the area on my arm and let it dry just because if you have lotion or any type of residue, then that can keep the sensor from not sticking as well. So we just don't want to introduce any extra obstacles. So I'm just going to take back my arm. So for placements, you can do back here. That's going to help you not hit dwarfins as much. But if this is one of your first times you're getting used to this, you can actually apply it a little more forward because then you'll be able to see it better. It's always helpful to use mirrors as well. So I have my alcohol swab. I'm rubbing the back of my area just to make sure it's nice and clean. But always make sure that it is very dry. If it's still wet, then that can keep the adhesive from sticking to you. Also, if you have thin blood or you take a blood thinner, it is best to cool the area. So you can take like a soda can, something cold, a pack of ice or an ice pack and apply it to your skin and hold it there for about 30 seconds to just reduce the blood flow, make it a little bit slower. And that will help you reduce bloody sensors. The transmitter itself is waterproof, but the inside of the transmitter is not. So just to reduce any failures with the transmitter, help it to work a little bit better. And that will also improve the sensor life. It's just best to not have blood at the sensor. So if there's a little bit, that tends to be okay. But I don't know. I try to reduce it if I can. I have the skin tag. It is definitely dried. It's been over 10 to 15 seconds. I applied that. Then I swabbed the back of my arm. So I am going to put this on my arm, maybe a little bit more forward just so you can see. And I'm going to hit the green at the same time and that's going to insert. 
Okay, so I just inserted. I like to keep it there for about 10 to 15 seconds just to let the adhesive stick better. And then I am going to grab on both sides and just pull directly off. Okay, so now I got that little stick, which I'm going to help you take that off. My trick here is to pinch the bottom of the stick because you need to loosen it. So you pinch it a few times. So it's down near the bottom towards the base. You just pinch a few times to help it loosen. And then there are two different strategies to getting the stick out. Well, three if you have a buddy. So you can use your thumb or your fourth finger. You have to hold the base of the sensor because that's going to keep it from lifting and possibly damaging the sensor. And then you wouldn't get the full six to seven days out of the sensor, or you potentially may not. So you can hold the base, so the, the fourth, sorry, the thumb and the fourth finger, and then use the two inside fingers and pull the stick out that way. So thumb, fourth finger, two inside fingers, pull up. And you just want to get to the bottom of the base and pull. The other way you can do it is by taking your pinky and your ring finger, well, depending on which hand, but this, your fourth finger, holding the base down and then taking your thumb and your pointer finger, grabbing the stick and pulling. Okay, so you could do either way, but those are the two best ones. And of course, the third one would be you could just hold the sensor head down and then have a buddy just pull the stick out. So now I have my transmitter. So my transmitter is already paired to my pump, so I really don't need to do anything on my pump. It's just waiting for it to connect to a new sensor. So I am now going to take the transmitter and I'm going to pinch it. And I still kind of, I'm just a little bit cautious of the sensor head. I'm pinching the transmitter in. And there's a very soft click. And once it's connected, you'll see it blink green, which is really important. If it doesn't blink green, then that means it didn't connect to your pump. So I'm waiting for that to blink green. Then to double check that it's connected, you can always check in the device settings on your pump and you can also go in your paired devices. It'll blink red and then it will say sensor connected. If it's a new sensor, you always press start new sensor. Okay, and that will start my two hour warm up. So now I'm just going to take the back of this piece, lay it over the transmitter. The last final part, I'm going to take the skin tack and I'm going to wipe around it. And this is just really to seal it in to make it work and stick and last the full six to seven days. You don't really have to do this, but I just have found that it allows my sensor to work a little bit better, have less movement, and allows me to get more time out of my Medtronic sensor. So I am using an overpatch. You can use whatever overpatch you like. I just like the ones that are more skin colored, but you can get crazy and fun. And so I just am applying that. Okay. Well, it's not perfect, but that's okay. Okay. So now my sensor's on. I just have the two hour warm up, and I am still in SmartGuard. You'll see on your screen that it'll say exit in. So because the pump has learned your basal needs, you're technically still in SmartGuard during the warm-up. And then once it's connected, you'll be able to see that blue shield with your number in it, which signifies you're back in SmartGuard. Thank you. I hope you learned something new. If you need help with your diabetes, you can reach out to me or the Above Diabetes team at AboveDiabetes.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.